Sister Fu, I have a dilemma and would like your advice. Sure. Tell me about it. All these years, we've looked forward to entering the Kingdom of Heaven, but the Lord still hasn't come. When will there be an end to this suffering? We always say the Lord has arrived at the door, but yet He still has not come. Our faith has become quite weak. It's 2016 now. The prophecies of His return are basically fulfilled. The four blood moons appeared. Even non-believers know that the great disaster is imminent. Therefore, the Lord should have returned. So how is it that we still have not welcomed Him? Yeah. I'm uneasy about this in my heart. If we keep watching the skies and waiting for the Lord to descend with the clouds, will we ever really meet Him? Yeah. The CCP government's crackdown is getting much worse. Our homes do not feel like homes. And who knows when we will be sent to prison. How much longer do we have to endure this suffering? <sighs> We long for the Lord to take us to heaven and end this suffering. The disaster is nearly here, and yet the Lord hasn't come. Just what is going on? Yeah. Don't we all long for his arrival? Yet the Lord still hasn't come. Who can see through this? We've now all seen disasters getting bigger and bigger. The four blood moons have appeared. Indeed. Fulfilling the prophecy in the book of Joel. And also on the servants and on the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and terrible day of Jehovah's comes. Mm. Amen. Amen. I've been thinking about this prophecy. The appearance of the four blood moons fulfills the moon into blood. Plus, the prophecy says, before the great and terrible day of Jehovah's come, I feel the great and terrible day might refer to the great disaster. Oh. And also on the servants and on the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. These words show what God will do just before the arrival of the great disaster. Yes, that does sound right. That's how I receive this prophecy. That before the start of the great disaster, God's Spirit will utter words to water His servants and handmaids. Mm. I believe the Holy Spirit will do new work in the last days. Oh, this is a new light. Thanks be to the Lord. Thank the Lord. Here, the words uttered by God's Spirit and the Holy Spirit's words to the churches in the book of Revelation seem to be related. Hmm. Many Bible experts confirm that God will make a group of overcomers before the great disaster. Hmm. Here is what I think. The utterance of God's Spirit must relate to God making a group of overcomers. Mm. In God's eyes, overcomers are all God's servants and handmaids. Thank the Lord. So that's how it is. Right. The more I pondered, the more I thought, there's a great mystery here. If that's the case, we should now search for the utterances of God's Spirit and see where the words of the Holy Spirit to the churches appear. Oh, right. Oh, you remind me of the Lord Jesus' prophecy. The wise virgins went to the wedding banquet when they heard the bridegroom's voice. As I see it, we should find the work of the Holy Spirit and see where the footprints of God's work are. This is most important. Yes. yes. What you've said is the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit. Fantastic. Thanks yeah. be to the Lord. You say the utterance of God's Spirit refers to the Holy Spirit's words to the churches. This reminds me that the Eastern Lightnings already witnessed the return of the Lord as Almighty God. 
who has expressed many truths and commenced the work of judgment and is now making overcomers. Do you think this is related to God's spirit watering God's servants and handmaids? If that's the case, then we really have a path. Let's investigate if the Eastern Lightning really is God's work. That settles it. Yeah, we should look into it at once. Brother Fung, what you said today is indeed a new light. Praise the Lord. This is something we'd never appreciated in the Bible before. Yes, thank the Lord. But as for whether the Eastern Lightning really is the work of God, my views are thus. The Eastern Lightning says that the Lord Jesus has returned, expressed truths, and done judgment of the last days. How is this possible? The Lord Jesus clearly prophesied that he would descend with the clouds in the last days. Yet we have not seen the Lord take believers into the kingdom of heaven. How could the Lord Jesus have already returned? Besides, religious pastors and leaders often say, all of the Lord's work is in the Bible. There are no words or work of the Lord outside of the Bible. Therefore, our belief in the Lord is belief in the Bible. If we stray from the Bible, then we betray the Lord. No matter what, we must hold on to the Bible and the Lord's name. Thus, we'll be brought to the kingdom of heaven when he comes. Sister Fu, on welcoming the Lord, we listen to pastors and elders and wait for the Lord to descend with the clouds. And if any say that the Lord's already returned, we reject it without investigating. This is not what the Lord intends. Recently, I started wondering. There are so many good sheep from all sects who've accepted the Eastern Lightning. Most of them understand the Bible and are rather thoughtful, insightful people. Yeah. Their acceptance of the Eastern Lightning must have come only after investigating it many times. Yes. They would not have accepted it blindly. Therefore, we should seek and investigate the Eastern Lightning. If the Eastern Lightning is the Lord's appearance, won't we be able to meet the Lord? Yeah. If the Eastern Lightning is not the return of the Lord, we'd still gain discernment. Isn't that quite a good thing? Indeed. Rather than being trapped in the church with nowhere to go, we might as well investigate the Eastern Lightning. Yeah. Let's see if the Lord has already returned. At least we know how things stand. Right. Sister Fu, isn't that right? We should look into it. Yes. Sister Fu, we have waited and waited, but still the Lord has not come. Just what is going on? Thanks be to the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to the Lord. Lord. Brothers and sisters, now is the late period of the last days. Mm. The prophecies of the Lord's return are basically fulfilled. Amen. In the year 2000, the Lord may descend with the clouds to take us up into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Yes, this is so exciting. Oh, Lord, is it wrong for us to wait for you like this? Why is it that we still have not met you? Lord, the Eastern Lightning testifies that you have returned. Is this true or not? Oh, Lord. I really am not sure. Please, enlighten me.
Sister Fu, what you said is right. The prophecies will surely come to pass. But recently, I checked all the prophecies regarding the return of the Lord. About the Lord's prophecies of His return, it not only says He comes with clouds and every eye shall see Him, but also that He will come as a thief. Right. As is said in the Gospel of Matthew 24, 43 through 44, But know this, that if the manager of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Yes, Yes, it it was was so. so. Therefore, be you also ready. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man comes. Mm. There's also Revelation 3.3. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief. These prophecies say the Lord will come as a thief. He will come quietly, without everyone knowing. Yeah. Therefore, when it comes to the return of the Lord, we mustn't make assumptions, but rather seek and investigate fully. That's the only way we'll have a chance to welcome Him. We must investigate more. Yes. Brother Fung, there are many prophecies that the Lord will return like a thief. But the religious world, unanimously, interprets this as not knowing when the Lord will return. Right. Just as the Lord Jesus said, For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man comes. In my mind, this is saying that, when no one expects it, the Lord will descend with the clouds to take the saints. That sounds about right. Now that you say it, This reminds me of when I was hiding at my relative's house. I met some people from the Eastern Lightning. The The Eastern Eastern Lightning? Lightning? Yes. They communed with me on some prophecies. Like Revelation 16.15, Behold, I come as a thief. And also Matthew 25.6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes. Go you out to meet him, as well as Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him and he with me. According to their interpretation of the Lord's words, he shall return like a thief, and it will be at midnight when someone witnesses the bridegroom comes. This explains that At a time unknown to us all, God will become flesh as Son of Man and secretly descend to speak and work. It is not something that all can see or know. Only those who know the Lord's voice can recognize that He's the Lord and accept Him. Indeed, it's so. They also said only those who seek the Lord's voice when told someone's witnessed His return can be brought before the throne to attend the Lord's banquet. Ah, what they said is right. The Lord Jesus said clearly in these passages, not everyone will be able to see the Lord's return. Only those who recognize His voice are able to meet Him. If the Lord's return is the descend with the clouds that we imagine, then wouldn't all be able to see it? Yes. Mm. Yes. It Mm. seems. There's a mystery in how the Lord will come. Mm-hmm. Sister Zhu, from hearing your words, it seems what was said by those from the Eastern Lightning conforms with the Lord's prophecies. Mm. The Lord Jesus' prophecies indeed mention listening to the Lord's voice. Right. We must listen to His voice in order to be able to welcome His return. Right. All that you have said makes sense. We held to the Lord descending with the clouds, but ignored other prophecies of his return. Mm, This made it easy to make mistakes. Mm. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not a stroke of the Lord's word shall. Right. Right. Since they're all the Lord's prophecies, they must all be fulfilled. His words will not be unfulfilled. As to how the Lord's prophecies will be fulfilled, There must be 
mysteries and truths mm. that we're unable to fathom. Mm. Indeed. Yes, that's true. We mustn't arbitrarily delineate. Yeah. yeah. Over these years, the Eastern Lightning has testified that the Lord has returned, uttered the truth, and begun his judgment work of the last days. Mm. And yet, we have never sought and looked into it. It's true. Right. Right. But instead, followed pastors and elders in condemning the Eastern Lightning. Indeed. That's Indeed. true. From the look of things, what we were doing may be quite wrong. Mm, yeah. We should now investigate the Eastern Lightning to see whether what they preach is the true way. Yes, we should seek and investigate. Yeah. yeah. Sister Zhu. Yes? Can you invite people from the Church of Almighty God to come communicate with us? Oh, yes. We should seek and investigate.